and I started eating these raw fruits and vegetables, and I got healed. I was healed. So then, for the first time in my life, I started to believe in something other than me. I started to believe there was an outside presence which uh, can work inside me and heal me as long as I started to start listening to that outside presence. So then I started to just seeking more and more and more and, and I became what we would title in this world a New Age Believer. Mm -hmm. Just believing, oh there's something out there, mm -hmm. but not knowing exactly what. Well then, it was about seven years ago where I was doing a lecture in Michigan because from that time to the seven years ago, I had written several books and I was traveling all over the world doing health lectures. And I was telling people about their physical health and people were getting physically healed. But I saw people still sick. They were sick spiritually, and they were lost emotionally, and, and so they wanted to be completely healed and not just half healed. So I had to seek elsewhere for that. And what happened, I was in Michigan about seven years ago giving a lecture, and after my lecture I was talking about the importance of, of praying and the importance of fasting in my lecture, and after my lecture this fellow came up to me and he said, Paul, your book is the second best health book I've ever read. And I said, well, what's the first book? He goes, not only will I tell you, but I'll give you one on two conditions. I said, what are they? He said, the first condition is, if you agree that this book's the greatest health book, you tell other people about it. But if you don't, you just give it back to me. I said, if this book is as good as you say it is, of course I'll tell other people about it. And if it's not, I don't want to tell anyone about it, so I'll give it back to you. What's the other thing? He says, the other thing is, before developing an opinion about this book, you have to read the whole book. And I said, well, how can I develop an opinion about it unless I read the whole book? So he handed me the book. It was the scriptures. And I stuck to my word. I read the whole book. And since then, I read the whole book over and over again because I did agree with him and find it to be, by far, the greatest book ever written on health. Amen. By far. And, but then I got really confused because... Uh, and, and by the way, as soon as I read it, I, I accepted Yeshua HaMashiach as my Messiah. Hallelujah. Not only was I physically healed, now I was spiritually and emotionally being healed. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful, and I also knew how to help other people be spiritually and emotionally mm -hmm. healed, along with the physical things I have learned. But then I got really confused because I started to teach in churches and congregations and temples all over the world. And my confusion was, the beginning of the service, there would be people praying. And there would be more prayer for healing of disease than any other topic. And I said, something's wrong here. If these people are so blessed and have the greatest health book right in their lap, they shouldn't be praying for their diseases. They should be praising for their great health. Amen. But that wasn't happening. Then I realized something. Knowledge without action means very little. It's not about knowing. It's about taking action and following what you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I realized people aren't studying the Word. And if they are, they're not following the Word. So I said, we've got to start teaching people about the Word. So since I was writing books, and, and that's what I do, and it's really not really a true statement to say I write books anymore. Nobody writes books anymore. We type books. <laughs> so so I, I, I wrote a book on the computer here. It's called Health According to the Scriptures. And, and, and as I was studying to write this book, not only the things that I've seen initially when I first read the Scriptures come out about health, but I've seen so many more things. And I would start to question uh, people in, in the congregations and the churches about these, and, and they were missing it. I know they were missing it, because when I, the bigger the churches, the bigger the people, and the sicker the people. Mm -hmm. I said, something's wrong. But what happened is, after the service, when you go back to the congregations, they weren't given the fruits and vegetables found in the Garden of Eden. They were given donuts and coffee, mm -hmm. which to this day, I still haven't found that anywhere in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So something is wrong. We need to wake up, because the Word says, if you follow my Word, you will be blessed. Mm -hmm. And it also says that if you disobey my word, you will be cursed. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening. People are being cursed. And, 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 and it says many things in the scriptures, but one of my favorite scriptures is James 4.17. And by the way, if you have your scriptures, who has their scriptures here? Who doesn't have their scriptures? Uh, that scriptures is a first aid kit. And we need to carry it wherever we go if we want to stay healthy. And it says in James 4.17, it says, To no good and not to do it to him it is sin. To know good and not to do it, to him it is sin. So, it's one thing not to know it. But if you know it and you're not doing it, that's something else. Now, I understand a lot of people don't know the things I'm going to speak about today. But after I speak about this, you're now going to know it. So you're going to be held even more accountable. So I'm going to give you a chance right now, if you don't want to take responsibility for your health, and if you want to miss out on these blessings, you can get up and leave right now. Great.
I'm glad you decided to stay. Now we got to get responsibility for our health because uh, this is an important health message and I'm going to show you things not from my opinion, not things that I dreamed up somewhere, but things right out of the scripture that it says when it comes to health. And, and I'm going to give a lot of scripture to do so. And, and so we're going to start off with uh, the question I hear by so many people, especially in churches and in congregations and so on. People say to me all the time, they say, if Yahweh loves us, why do we suffer? And by the way, Yahweh is the name of our Creator. So if you don't know that, that's why we say hallelujah. That means praise Yah. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exactly. So, so why do we suffer? If He loves us, why do we suffer? Well, why are we stricken with disease? Many of us suffer for His glory, but many of us are stricken with disease because we're not following His instruction guide. They're, they're basically not necessarily the same thing, suffering and living with disease, because there are some people uh, that suffer for His glory and they find joy in that suffering. There are other people that are living in sickness and they don't find any joy in that. They just uh, have hate and all these negative emotions, which just gets them even sicker. But it says in the scripture clearly why we live with disease. It says in Isaiah 24 5. Isaiah 24 5 says, The earth suffers for the sins of its people, for they have twisted Yahweh's instructions violated his laws, and broke his everlasting covenant. It says it clearly right there. We are living at a time now more than ever before where there's more sickness and disease than ever before in the history of man. We're also living at a time than ever before where more people are living against the guidelines and instructions of our Creator more than ever before. Do we see the connection? Do we see what's happening? Do we realize that? More people than ever before, with all the medicine we have, mm -hmm. with all the science we have, people aren't healthier, they're sicker. Some people say, well, we're living longer, but we're not thriving, we're just barely surviving. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. And it's very clear what's wrong, and it says in Scripture, as we get right of His Word, He'll reveal these things to us. Well, as true believers, He's revealed this to us, and the information is right here in His Word. We suffer because we're not listening to this. It says, as again, Isaiah 24, 5, we're suffering because we've, we've uh, broke that everlasting covenant when we, what we made with Him. When you accept Yeshua as your Messiah, you're making a promise, you're making a vow, you're making a covenant uh, to, to, to Yahweh Himself saying, I will learn and keep your commandments. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will learn and keep your commandments. Now I want to get something straight right here. We're not saved by works. We're Man. saved through the blood of Messiah. Man. However, we're blessed by works. Amen. And if we're truly saved, doing those works will be a pleasure and a joy for Amen. us. And we have to understand that. We're going to talk about the importance of a vow and breaking it. And next week we'll see next week's Torah portion about breaking the vow. It starts off in next week's Torah right there in Numbers 32 mm. about breaking a vow and, 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 and the, the, the destruction that happens when we do that. And this has continuously happened. But it's, we have to understand and look back in history, and when we get to scriptures, we look at the greatest history book ever written. And we look at that word right there, his story, history. Mm -hmm. And it's the greatest book ever written, and we look at uh, some things about scripture. And to understand uh, what we're, the message of health according to the scriptures, we truly have to understand what the scriptures are. So I'm going to begin this afternoon teaching you a little about the scriptures that some of us know, but many of us have missed. Because when we want to understand the health message of Scripture, we have to see clearly what the Scriptures are. The first thing we have to understand also is, the first sin of man was not about eating some apple or eating some fruit. The first sin of man was a disobeying our Creator. Mm -hmm. And just like man suffered back then for disobeying Him, we continue to suffer consistently and live in disease. I've seen people get healed uh, miraculously. But I've seen them go back into the same pattern of living in disobedience and get stricken with the same disease, even worse. But I've seen people get healed and stay healed. But it's what happened, what really got healed was their hearts. And they realized it and they repented and then they started to get healthy again. So, so we have to understand this. When I come to a health lecture to give one, I see people, I ask people, why did you come here? And I get many different answers, but there are three basic answers what people think they want when it comes to of sickness and healing and, and, and health. If they say, no, the, the number one motivating factor that people come to a health lecture is if they have a disease, how do they get well again?